In today's video, we're taking two nearly 20-year-old Yu-Gi-Oh! tins and battling them against each other. What's up, guys? We're back with another old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! tin opening. We're opening not one, but two old school tens. This is a 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 Blade Knight. This one was purchased on Ruxin34.com. This one was purchased by Nick B on Ruxin34.com and he asked me to open it up. So we're going to be doing that in this video. So shout out to Nick B and go check out Ruxin34.com yourself. If you want to see any uh, stuff that you can buy to have open, buy to have sealed and I'll ship it to you. Any cards that you want, it supports the channel a lot when you guys go and buy there. And it's a legit site. Some people say, oh, I didn't know if it was you or not. It's me. It's Ruxin34. You can see it connected in my link in my description and stuff like that just to make sure that it's legit. Secondly, we have a Cyber Dragon 2006 10 also purchased on Ruxin34.com by Alec S. So it's a little battle between viewers 2004 from Nick and 2006 from Alex. So this should be pretty fun. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Toon Gemini L from Duelist League. We have Harpy Lady Holographic, super rare version, whatever you want to call that, and Harpy's Pet Dragon. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below which will win, 2004 or 2006. And make sure to thank the viewers for making this video possible by purchasing the 10. So it's very, very awesome and exciting. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you haven't heard by now, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform where you can buy and sell all kinds of different items. From comics to coins to shoes and of course trading cards, Whatnot has it all. And of course I sell on Whatnot so if you guys want to come and hang out on a live stream because yes they are live streamed. You get to watch it just like a YouTube live stream but you could also buy items while watching. We are doing a massive first edition and unlimited hunt for the Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. So I have not only a first edition Magician's Force box but also an unlimited box. And that's not even the best part. I'm giving away an original print Dark Magician Girl to one of you guys who was on the stream. You don't even have to buy anything. So if you want to be a part of the stream, whether it's to buy a pack or just to watch, make sure you click my link down below. Get $15 free credit if you're a new user on your first purchase. Then search my name, Ruxin34 in whatnot. You'll find my profile and you can click bookmark on the show because it's going to be pretty awesome. I want to make sure you guys don't forget about it. The show is happening Thursday, April 11th at 6 30 p.m. Central Time. So don't miss it because we're going to finally pull, I hope, the Dark Magician Girl first edition. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. I don't know which one I want to go for first. They're both so fun. The cool part about this one is it has Magician's Force and IOC inside. Really good selection of packs in here. Cool about part about this one is it has a Cyber Dragon promo. So I think we're going to start with the promo one first because we know that's in there but it's like PSA quality. That could be really nice. We're going to add the promo values. I won't add PSA, you know, PSA 10, because we don't know if it's going to get PSA 10 or not uh, to the added value, but we will have a score up here on the screen. It's going to be the 2006 Cyber Dragon 10 versus 2004, the totals pulled. So you'll know if you got it right when you guessed. You got to guess four starts, though. Don't cheat. OK, here we go. Cyber Dragon. Let's see what the promo looks like. It is in a better spot than they did early days where they didn't have it inside anything. OK, secret rare looks good. Centering looks pretty good on this. Foil lane looks beautiful. Card looks awesome. The back. OK, are we looking at a potential PSA 10? There's like a tiny, tiny scuff on the back. Honestly, that looks super clean. Centering is not completely perfect. Pushed a little bit that way, but still pretty good. That has a chance at a PSA 10. That's a great start. All right, then we have a little uh, a little guide. Pocket guide. GX, very nice. Okay, then we have our our packs, not our promos. We already got the promo. Four or five packs. I mean, I'm saying everything wrong today. Let's just get this out of the way. Let's do no first eds in these kind of packs. We're going to do, of course, EOJ first. I mean, compared to those others, they're all classics like Shadow of Infinity, Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy. This is definitely the least interesting. Still a lot of potential in here. A lot of cool cards. Let's see if we can get something absolutely awesome. Alec, good luck. Let's see if you can beat Nick in this battle. One, two, three, four. We have Raging. I'm going to try not to mix the names up because normally I have one name. You know, two names is very confusing. Oh my gosh, hiccup. We have Celestial Transformation. We have Elemental Hero Mariner. Grand Convergence. Swift Birdman Joe. Eight Heated Heart. The Destiny Hero, Captain Tenacious. Elemental Recharge. And here we go. We have Elemental Recharge and we have Cyber Dragon. Interesting. And Banisher of the Radiance. That would actually have been a really cool retail ulti. Pretty nice card just because it's so annoying in some older formats. Uh, it can be pretty decent. Uh, let's do one of the Cybernetic Revolutions because Shout of Infinity, you know what we're looking for. Also, check out this pack. The edge is like way pushed over because like this should be on the very edge right here. It's completely wrapped all the way around for like part of the artwork. Very strange. Have you seen that many times? It's not like a resale or anything. It happened quite a bit back in the day, but still pretty weird. 
Next pack, we got the Mad Lobster at the beginning. That's going to be me. I'm going to be a Mad Lobster if we don't pull something good. We have Dragon's Mirror, Rocks and Special. Pot of Generosity, that one was in the pod collection. Don't forget, Steam Gyroid, a mixture of Gyroid and Steamroid. Fortunately, not a mixture of UFO Roid, or I would hate it. Okay, Conscription. If we get a UFO Roid in here, I'm going to find someone. A Mad Lobster, a gourmet food renowned by the Dark World Upper Crust. Crest? Crust? Crust? Dark World Upper Crust? What does that even mean? It... It has sensational flavor, I guess. That's good. Ty Tyranno Infinity. Spiritual Fire Rock, Kurenai. I don't know what the upper crust is. That's strange. And... Oh, no. Not and. Arrival appears. And... Dimension Wall. Okay. CRV. Eh, not great. I'm going to save SOI just because Sacred Beast, we never pulled them. Elemental Energy. Come on. So far, we are over. The Cyber Dragon looks great, though. PSA 10 of that? I don't even know. What does that go for? Probably pretty good because Cyber Dragon as a 10 promo is one of the most popular ones. I mean, understandably, it was such a good card back in the day. It's classic. It's iconic in the anime. Uh, it's a really beautiful card. I mean, there's just has everything going for it in terms of promos. Simultaneous loss. Here we go. Let's see what we can get out of EEN. That's a EOJ earlier. I'm an EEN. Blade Skater. Beige. Vanguard of the Dark World. Reborn Zombie. It has been reborn. Oxygeno. Familiar Possessed. Area. The area is here. Oja Muscle. And here we go. Ultimate Rare, baby. Chthonian Alliance. Little Chaz action. The Chaz is here. All right, Chaz. I'm going to stay at SOI. I'm just feeling the luck. We've never pulled any Sacred Beasts. I'm talking Ultras. I'm talking Ultis. There's th four Ultras in the set. Three of them are Sacred Beasts. I've somehow pulled the fourth Ultra like three times. Let's make this uh, this time the time we finally get it. Let's do CRV first, though. Let's get an Ultimate Rare. Let's get a Cyber Dragon, Cyber Rin Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, Ultra, Super. Anything would be cool. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Cybernetic Revolution. We have Ebon, Magician, Karan, Droroid, Cyber Archfiend, Patroid, Death Frog, Arrival Appears, Protective Soul Aelin, Giant Kozaki and our last card in the CRV. We have two CRV packs here. We went 0 for 1 on the first one. We haven't gotten a pull out of this tin yet. Let's see if we can do this here. Come on. Whew, Transcendent Wings. Another one that would be a great retail ulti. I'm just saying it would be great. Also, I want to remind you guys uh, in just tomorrow, I think. I think this should be Wednesday. I want to remind you guys tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. on Whatnot. We're going to be opening First Day Magician Force, Unlimited Magician Force, both hobby. We can get DMGs. That's what we're trying to get. We're also giving away a DMG. Use my link down below. Get $15 free credit if you guys haven't done that yet. It's going to be pretty amazing. Hopefully that'll bless us with some luck right here. Shout out Infinity. Here's the thing. We've never pulled DMG first ed. We've never pulled a Sacred Beast. Maybe we could do both in two days. It'd be amazing. See what we can do. Shadow of Infinity. What shall we pull then? One, two, three, four. Wow, these feel shiny for some reason they're not euro i don't think we have ancient gear factory it, it might have been first set if it was euro i think that could happen ant eater eating ant next to be lost the silent insect symbol of heritage last pack and the cyber dragon team we're over four right now ancient gear tingabito shian that is a wild heart but new gogapon and finally we have Okay, the Cyber Dragon tin, it treated us like old school tins do. The nice side is the promo looked absolutely amazing. So there is that going for it. Sometimes you get a crappy promo and you get no pulls, which really sucks. So Alec, thanks again for purchasing the tin and risking it because obviously it can not go well sometimes. So I hope you do really well in that Cyber Dragon if you do end up grading that. And uh, thanks again. I'll probably throw something in for you. All right, Nick. It's not going to be hard for you to beat this. You just got to beat the Cyber Dragon. That's all you got to beat. The suspense is not too high. Here's the thing, though. It's really easy to not pull things out of old school tents. Very easy. So, like, not necessarily a foregone conclusion. You do get some amazing packs in here, which I just ripped off the thing that said it. But Dark Crisis, MFC, Pharaonic Guardian, IOC, Ancient Sanctuary. Also, if you have a nice Blade Knight promo... That could be pretty nice as well. So let's get this thing out of here. Blade Knight's a pretty classic one. Thanks to GOAT format. Pretty awesome card. Let's get that out. Back is looking super. Oh my, that is minty. Centering is about the same as the Cyber Dragon. So I think you might have a chance here. It's all about the centering, but this thing is really, really clean. Oh my goodness. That is a mint card if I've ever seen one. Blade Knight. So the promo is coming out nice. I like this. You know what else is coming out nice? These booster packs. Let's get the 10 out of the way. Let's get to it. All right, Nikki. 
I, I don't know if anybody lets you call you Nikki, but that just it just came it just came out naturally. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you want to go by Nikki or not, but I feel like if maybe if I pull like a DMG or something going crazy like that, I think you'd be okay with being called Nikki just for this video. But if I don't pull anything, maybe not. Okay, let's find out what we can get. First pack is Ancient Sanctuary. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Dust Barrier. Oh, I, I've rocked some special the second card a lot today. That's pretty unusual. Sonic Jammer. I don't know what's going on. Desert Sunlight. Maybe it's the old cards, a little bit more frictiony. Spirit Collar, Solar Flare Dragon. Yeah, it's going to burn those life points. 500 per turn. Law of the Normal. Opti Camouflage Armor. Metal Armor to Boog. Last card. Here we go. The very off center, by the way. Check that thing out. And Seal Master. Missy. Okay, this is. Um... Not great. We are, what, 0 for 6 now? Can we get something today? Dark Crisis? Old school packs, man. Sometimes they, like, sometimes they just don't treat you well. That's just how it goes. Dark Crisis is up next. Skill Drain used to be the rare you'd look for. It's been reprinted a lot. It's really Sukiyomi now is the best rare. If you're looking for a hollow, I always want to go Exodia Necros. Uh, Secret Rares. If it's in a 10, I think you're going to get, uh, not Vampire Lord, you're going to get Judgment of Anubis. So, what else would we want? I mean, Judgment of Anubis would be great, but... Archfiend's Oath, we have the a deal with a Dark Ruler. Fire upon Archfiend. Ojama Green. He's green. He's Ojama. Shadow Knight Archfiend. Keldo. Keldo. Sakuretsu Armor. Rod of the Mind's Eye. And finally, we have one more card in Dark Crisis. Come on, give us something. Desferal Imp. Wow, this is some old school packs. Uh, and not in a good way, that's for sure. Frontic Guardian, at least, okay, at least Frontic Guardian can bless us. You guys know there's a lot of great commons and rares in here. Book of Moons in here is a rare. We've got Metamorphosis, we've got Trap Dusty, we've got Maiden of the Aqua, all rare or commons. Dice Jars in here is pretty good. So we could get some of those just to lead off and then maybe roll into a Donza Luke. That'd be pretty nice. The score is not, hasn't been a lot of action on the score today. Four from the back, we have Birdface. Here we go, Nick. Right up Spirit. Metamorphosis, there we go. A few dollar card, three to four bucks, something like that. It's pretty awesome. That might have actually just won the battle. Uh, Servant of Catabolism. Reasoning's a good card too, but it just had seven prints in Rarity Collection, so probably not. Uh, Master Kiyashi. We have a Soul Eater, a Living Wonder of Mystery. Very awesome. Arsenal Bug, watch out. This thing's 2K unless there's no face up insect type monsters. It only becomes a thousand. Then we have. Reckless Greed. Another good card, but not super valuable. We at least got something good right there. Now we have MFC IOC. So where did we pull the DMG? Was it out of a 10? I feel like it wasn't out of it. It was out of, we had one out of Master Collection. And was it just a loose pack? I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. We're just going to save it for last, just in case. There's still Dark Paladin potential either way. One, two, three, four. I think I didn't mess that up. We have Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish, DD Borderline. The Spatial Collapse. The space is collapsing. Ojama Yellow. Crimson Ninja. Pinch Hopper. Griffin's Feather Duster. Inferno. Fire Blast. And we have out of IOC. Give us CED. Give us Demok. Give us the Black Cluster Soldier. Here we go. Robin, go. Robin Zombie. We literally have not hit a foil today. This is rough. 0 for 9. Uh, Nick and Alec, you guys are legends. You've taken the risk. It's not gone well. MFC, can you turn this around? Can you give us something big here? Come on. Last pack magic. Our best card, besides, of course, that one came open easily. Uh, besides, of course, this one, the crimping. Wait, do we have a crimp card in here? As you can see, the crimping didn't get very... Yeah, maybe it is a little bit there. Okay. The promos have been great, so that's a big plus. Outside of that, it's Metamorphosis. It's our best card. One, two... Three, four. So can we end it with last pack magic? Can we get something amazing out of an awesome set? Magicians Force, which we are opening up tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Central. So make sure you guys are there for first head box opening. Unlimited. DMG pull, hopefully. Here we go. Union Rider. Metal Silver Armor. Roulette Barrel. The White Dragon Ritual. Freezing Beast. People running about. Magical Plant Mandragola. Hidden Book of Spell. And finally, the last card is... Z metal tank, a foil, we'll take it. It's not the foil we're necessarily looking for. It is a cool foil and it is a foil, which is, oh man, all we can ask for at this point. Hidden Book of Spell, I feel like is actually maybe a money card, like two, $3 card. Uh, not huge money, but that's a center Z metal tank too. That actually, oh, pretty clean, very minty. That 
If you want to grade an unlimited MFC, that might actually be a PSA 10 right there. So we finally got something nice. So shout out once again, Nick and Alec for the awesome opening. It would have been a lot more awesome if we got you guys some good pulls, but thank you guys again. I appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more old school openings. And if you want to grab some product yourself, doesn't necessarily have to be open. Maybe if it is, we'll have better luck. Go check out Ruxin34.com. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.